Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher, welcome to the class. Welcome to the class, teacher. This is the last class. No, because you are here. Aha. Okay. Okay, uh, so, qué bien, hoy es el último día de clases, espero disfruten la clase y eh, espero que hayan aprendido bastante. Vamos a dar inicio, ¿se recuerdan cuál fue el tema del día de ayer? Y Gabriel que no se aguanta la risa, según él no lo estoy viendo. ¿no? <risa> <risa> ok, uh, ¿se acuerdan cuál fue el tema del día de ayer? Was, where, uh -huh. pasado, okay. plus cuan perfecto, y futuro. Mm, okay. Okay. After was and where, do you remember uh, what was the next topic? No, I don't remember. You don't? Oh, oh a little, a little. Mm -hmm. The class. Era la forma de, la forma de contestar las preguntas. Uh, no, beside that, we were practicing the uh, classroom vocabulary. Do you ah, remember sí, yes. what was the classroom vocabulary that we started uh, ah. yesterday? Yes. In the class, the object in the class. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to use the chat. Can you please type? the vocabulary that you remember from yesterday's topic. Do you remember? Mom? Mom? Okay, let's check the chat. Uh, okay, so Berosli says bike, classroom, color pencil. What else do you remember? Teacher. La uh -huh. palabra del bus era bien rara, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo era? ¿Cómo, cómo era el bus? Era como... Bocha, algo ahí. Bocha. Era, school bus. Era... No era bus. No, no decía school bus. Uh -huh. Decía otra palabra. Creo que era coach. Me coach. Cobocho, algo así, Coach. Mm -hmm. Pero llevaba... Oh. But uh -huh. on the top, on the top, he said uh, a school bus, on the top of it. No, normal es school, school bus, mm -hmm. Yes, José Alejandro says chairs, las sillas, <laughs> that's in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so today we're going to continue with the unit uh, five, okay? We are going to try to complete the unit five, actually. And I'm going to go ahead and share my computer screen. This is going to be basically the, um, the review from the unit five. And we need to take advantage of the time, actually, because, I mean, time flies. Alrighty. So once you can see my computer screen, just let me know. Leticia says, I'm going to be just listening. Va a estar de oyente, dice. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, but Osley, help me with the objective for today's class. Actually, this is going to be, like I said, um, that unit review or knowledge check. Um, instruction, teacher? Yep, instructions. Instruction. Um, scrabble. And scramble. The words, scramble. The words to create the question. And scramble the words Leo to Longhead. create the questions. Uh, yes, please. Example. Born. born where, where you, where, where, where you born. Okay, if you see the sentence are not in order and you need to make them, I mean, you need to put them in order, okay? I'm going to select some of you to complete the sentences and let me select one of the participants. Uh, Claudia, are you ready? Edwin, complete the sentence, please. Yes, yeah, teacher. Uh, where did where, no, pardon, where did you grow up? Grow, creo que se menciona, teacher. Grow. Yes. Thank you. Where do you grow up? Thank you. Uh, okay. Gabriel, continue with the next one. Okay. Uh, how how old were you in the year? Mm -hmm. Two two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's continue with Leticia Margarita. Marcos Palacios. Marcos. Nelson, thank you. When do you begin to study English? When do you begin to study? To, to, to study English. To study English. Thank you. Um, Jose Roberto, next. When, when will, when were you born? When, where, were you born? You born. Okay. Thank you. When were you born? Excellent. Let me go ahead and copy those questions and I'm going to send them to the chats uh, because we are going to ask and answer those questions later on. If you can see them, let me check. Okay, first question. Second question. We just have four questions that we need to answer, but those are going to be later on. Just give me one minute. Vaya, y ayer me estuve matando haciendo eso en la madrugada. Okay. Y no lo entendías. Excellent. Sí, eso les de ponerle en orden. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Very awesome. All right. So. Let me go ahead and send it. <gasps> what happened here? Uh -huh. When did you? Oh, when did you start? Oh, when did you begin? When did you begin? When did you begin? To study English. To study English. Mm -hmm. And this one, when were you born? When were you born? Okay, there you go. Great. Hmm. Okay, 
so let's see. Let's continue. Uh -huh. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing a school. What do you mean discussing? Uh, discutir. Oh. Pero esto lo vimos, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, aquí nos quedamos sí. que ya no nos funcionó la plataforma, ¿se acuerdan que me sacó? Uh -huh. Ah, sí. Yes, I okay. remember. I remember. Right. It says, by the end of this class, you will develop a skill in scanning, <laughs> reading for a specific information, or se sequencing events. Let's listen to the Develop. Reading. ¿Qué significa develop? Desarrollar. Oh. Okay. All right. So, there you go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay. Excellent. And the last one. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, go back and read the article, Rick Martin, and select the best answer for each question. Rick <laughs> Martin. Okay. So let's <laughs> listen to... Ajá. Fíjense que no sabía que era eh, era ¿Gay? parte de no aparte de eso aparte de sus preferencias uh. <risa> no sabía que era parte de me, del grupo Menudo sí ahí hace como mil años en los 80 es que le voy a contar una una semi historia yo tenía un grupo mm. de alumnas perdón un grupo de compañeras cuando yo era estudiante que ellos, eh, menudo vino a El Salvador por ahí por el año de 1997, todavía más o menos me recuerdo, algo no así. No había nacido yo. Bueno, pero la cosa es que todo el mundo se volvió loco y loca, porque iban a, iban a venir el tal menudo, y ese grupo de compañeras se escaparon de clase y se fueron a ver a menudo, pero como estaban tan joven, no conocían el centro, mucho menos donde, se, donde ellos llegaron. Y la cosa es que no dieron ni con el lugar, las expulsaron mm. y no pudieron ver al, al tal grupo menudo. Y oh. um, al, al, al grupito de chicas que se fueron, eran como tres o cuatro, a ellas les pusieron las menudo después de eso. Uh -huh. Qué mala suerte, con tan barmiles <risa> bailes. Bueno. <risa> ok, uh, let's continue. Eh, Amalia, when was Ricky Martin born? <clears throat> Options. Options. Amalia. Mm -hmm. In San Juan, Puerto Rico. Mm -mm. Are you sure? No. Mm. No. It says Gwen. ¿Cuándo? No, ¿dónde? It's Gwen. Ah, okay. Eh, pero options. I'm December 
1971. Okay. Where was Ricky Martin born? And that question Puerto goes to oh, Alejandro. Sí. Sí, San, Juan, mm, Puerto San Juan, Puerto Rico. En San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Tan varonil. Okay. <laughs> Griselda Mejia. How old was Ricky Martin when he joined the Latin boy band Menudo? But Osley. He was 20, 20 no. years. He was 12, 12 years old. Yeah. Years old. He was 12 years old. And Gabriel, why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because he was frustrated. Frustrated. Okay. Let's check. Yay, great. Okay, now let me go ahead and stop sharing and I'm going to ask you to ask those questions. The ones that I sent you on the chat. Just give me some seconds, couple of seconds. Okay, the first question, let me see. I'm going to, who wants to be the volunteer to answer all those questions? Who wants to be the volunteer? Any volunteer who wants to answer all those questions? Raise the raise your hand. But I need to I need to see the icon. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Berosli. Berosli, uh, let's see. Where do you grow up? Where do you grow up? If you see the chat, you will be able to see the question number one. Where do you grow up? Uh, my person or the example? You. Where did you grow oh. up? Mm -hmm. mm. I was mm. grow up? No. In what is the past of grow? Ah! <laughs> uh -huh. I great. Don't in the ant. I great that teacher. No. I I I I I am I am and in in problems. <laughs> Why? <laughs> For the not remember the birth grow uh, in past. The what well, okay, what is the past to grow, guys? Crecer. Uh huh. Grew. 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 Uh huh. Uh -huh. I grew up. I grew in El Salvador. I grew up in El Salvador. Okay. I Second question. Up. How mm. old were you in in the year 2000? But Asli, how old were you in the year 2000? 25. Mm. Ricky Martin? No, you. Oh. Las preguntas son personales hacia usted. Usted oh. tiene que responder con su información personal. Ah, oh, mi, mi fecha de nacimiento quiere. No. How old no. were you in 2000? ¿Qué edad tenía en el, el año 2000? Ah, ya, ya, ya. I am 22. old. No, en el 2000 tenía. Okay. Yes, it yes, is, yes. that's right. Jose, no, 20, 20, 23. I was. Oh, 20, I was. Uh, I, I was. 20 I years was old. old. 20 years old. 20 years old. I am, actually, actually, I am uh -huh. old. 40, 
for. Okay. All right. And the last one. When when were you born? Uh I'm in San Salvador. Okay. But Osley, when were you born? Um cuando la fecha, verdad? Correct. When? Ah, uh, when. Uh, July. I was born. Acostúmense a responder I con oraciones born. completas. I was born. Okay. I was in. born in July twenty mm -hmm. second. Yep. And nineteen and seventeen nine. Thank you. Now select one of your classmates and ask the same questions. Nelson. Mm -hmm. Melsa. Okay. Are you here? Okay. Hi, Baros. Hi. Good evening. Yes, it's I'm a ready. pleasure. See you. Um, okay. Teacher, las preguntas las envió a cuál chat? Uh, Zoom chat. Que no lo encuentro. Hola. Zoom chat. Zoom chat. Espérame. Ah, aquí está. La número number three, ¿verdad? ¿Dicha? Sí. De la una um, a la cuatro va a preguntar. Ah, ya. Yeah, ok. Um, did you, where did you grow up? I grew up in I grew up in El Salvador. Thank you. Uh -huh, second question. Hi. Berosli, la siguiente pregunta son cuatro preguntas que tienen que hacerle. No le escuchamos, pero Osli, tiene apagado el, el micrófono. Sorry. Y yo hablando. Sorry, sorry. Ok. And the uh, following is... Um, how were you all in the year 2000? I wasn't, I wasn't not, not born. I wasn't born. No había nacido. <laughs> no, no existía. No existía. Okay. okay. Um, ¿Es, ¿Está correcta when... esa respuesta, teacher? Uh, no. No había, no había I nacido como I wasn't, be, I wasn't be born. I wasn't born yet. Ah, okay. Oh no. Okay, number uh, three. When did you when did you begin to study English? Begin to study. When did you Iniciar? when did you when did you study English? Cuando uh -huh. in... Cuando you... uh -huh. In March 2023. Okay. When were you born? You born? What? Well, you dice cuando nas cuando cuando naciste, verdad? Cuando nació usted? I was born. Um. 28 July 20 no 201 so tomorrow okay tomorrow is my birthday okay. 
Oh, really? Ah, tomorrow. Okay. Ah. Let's sing. Happy birthday to Happy you. Happy birthday to Happy you. Birthday to Happy you. birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nelson. Happy birthday, Nelson. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, let's give him a, an applause. Thanks so much. <laughs> Mañana cumplo 22 añitos. Como quisiera regresar a los años. It's a, it's, you are a baby. Yes. Disfrutarlos porque vuelan. Sí. Y hacer Disfrutar. cosas buenas que te hagan exitoso. Primero Dios que sí. Por eso estoy estudiando inglés. para ir. Gracias. Ok. Continue, please. Ajá. Falta alguna pregunta. Entonces, falta, Ticha. Ya subieron las cuatro, ¿verdad? Ok. Mm, sí. Vaya, sí. lo que quiero, vean el chat. Ahí les he escrito Ajá. y he estado eliminando algunas eh, información. Lo que quiero es que cada uno de ustedes, así como hemos practicado el, el uso del pasado simple, ¿sí? Quiero que me den su información personal. Me van a brindar su nombre completo, el lugar donde nacieron y la fecha que nacieron, sus logros personales y una historia cuando ustedes estaban pequeños. Puede ser una historia eh, alegre, una historia triste. Um, entonces, la primera va a ser your full name, place and date of birth personal achievements, and a story from a, your childhood, when you were a child. Okay. So, let me go ahead and start first. I'm going to give you uh, the, the information. So, my full name is Douglas Alvarado. I don't really like my first name. The place of birth was uh, Nueva Esparta, La Unión. And my date of birth is uh, May 26th, 1985. Some personal achievements, I will say that uh, I have been working and um, fighting so hard in order to achieve uh, my goals. When I was a child, that was kind of, let's say, challenging for myself because I grew up in a uh, a poor home where we didn't have like enough uh, material things. However, it didn't stop myself. I had a lot of dreams. I decided to continue studying. Since I was seven years old, I had a lot of dreams in my life. I used to share them with my mom and she used to say that I was a dreamer that I was not able to reach my dreams because of the economical resources. They couldn't uh, continue helping me with the studies, but I didn't stop. I was just working from Monday to Friday, okay, uh, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then I had to study in the afternoon until I reached my ninth grade. After that, I decided to go to high school. That was another big challenge for me because I had to work to help my parents. And I was just studying from Saturday and also Sunday from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Kind of hard, though. Um, after I finished the high school, I decided to go to the university and become an English teacher. It was really challenging as well because I had never gone to any other place to study English. And I felt kind of frustrated at the beginning of the language of the major because my classmates, they were able to express themselves. Six years later, I was able to finish. Oh, two years later, I was able to get my first job in an English environment. And then uh, four years after that, I uh, became an English uh, teacher. 
and I also got um, an opportunity to go to the United States. Unfortunately, I couldn't go because my mother got sick. I didn't get that visa either because during that month, she uh, became ill and I had to help her. And since then, since 2016, I have been teaching English in different institutions. One story I would say from my childhood was that, let's see, I would like to say just something good, a happy story. I remember when I bought my first pair of shoes, I was helping some neighbors in order to run their business. And they were giving me like two colones, okay, every day. And then I was able to buy my first pair of shoes and also my backpack because I didn't have one. I used to bring all my books in a big bag, plastic bag, but it was so, so good. And it was a happy story for me. I mean, I always remember that because I mean, I worked so hard in order to buy those things. And at the end, I used them. My first pair of shoes, they last like three years. Okay, and that's all my story. But I want to listen to some of you talking, okay? The information, the same information I gave you. Easy, who wants to be the volunteer? Vaya, así como yo se los hice, quiero que lo hagan. Su nombre completo, el lugar donde nacieron, su fecha de nacimiento, logros personales, y una historia, ya sea triste o una historia feliz. ¿Qué me entendieron? Vamos a escuchar a ver Osley. ¿Qué es lo que entendió de todo lo que dije? Primero, sobre mi nombre completo. Luego, la, el lugar y la fecha de nacimiento. ¿Qué dije? Y luego, la historia. los logros personales. Cuénteme ah, sí, que sobre que los logros visa. personales. Ah, yo no dije que, que tengo no visa. visa y... yo, no, yo no dije que tengo visa. Ya quisiera yo no estuviera aquí en El Salvador. Bueno, pero, bueno, usted dijo que había dado clases en varias instituciones y que le costó al principio que sentí un poco frustrado en la universidad porque Ajá. usted no había estudiado anteriormente inglés. Y okay. que sus compañeros hablaban fluidamente. Ok, y eso sí lo dije. Que... Okay. <ríe> eso sí lo dijo. Sí. Y, y habló de su mamá, habló de su mamá. Ajá. Ok, dijo ¿qué dije? ¿Cuál fue la, la historia feliz que conté? Uh, dijo... <ríe> Es que hablaba bien rápido, teacher. Estaba hablando súper suave, Pero... súper despacio. Y después dijo que hace tres años estaba trabajando. ¿Cómo terminé el bachillerato? Aquí. Um... Indeciso, dijo. ¿En qué? Es que no, no, o sea, <risa> no, que es que lo terminó indeciso porque no sabía que iba a estudiar en la universidad. No invente. <risa> <risa> ok, vamos a ver. Quiero un voluntario que haga lo mismo que yo hice. I gave my full name, the place where I was born, the date of birth the personal achievements, and also a story from childhood. It can be either happy story or a sad story, if you would like to say that. I don't really like to talk about sad things, but I mean, that would be better if you give us the information related to happy stories. Uh-huh. Who wants to be the first volunteer? Los veo asustados. Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. No, yo voy a seleccionar. Quiero escuchar a Edwin. Ok, Edwin. Go ahead and do it. 
Barca, barca, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, uh, uh, my name, my full name is Edwin Ben Jamin Sanchez Portillo. Uh, I was born on February on February 7, 1987, on San Salvador. About my personal achievements, uh, I can say that um, I feel so great because I'm studying English uh, in about uh, history from my child. child Childhood. Is this your is this your first time studying English or do you study English before? No entendí, teacher. No entendí, teacher. Perdón. Okay. Is this your first time studying English or did you study English before? No, estoy empezando a estudiar inglés. Ah, Creo okay. Que eso me preguntó, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. Ah, bueno, entonces sí, estoy empezando a estudiar inglés. Mm -hmm. eh, in about uh, history how, from... how long have you been studying English? What? How long <laughs> have you been studying English? ¿Cuánto Me... tiempo? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, about two or three months. Two or three months. Uh, but do you study do you study in other place before or is this your first time? Yes, but where but, do you study first? But eight or two or eight or ten years ago. Where? Where do you study? Uh, in Itka. At Itka. Yes. Yep. Okay. And Itka. who who was your favorite teacher? Right there. Mm, I don't remember. Do uh, you remember Hugo? Her her name. No, no. I uh, remember the Miss Mirna. Mirna, but I don't remember her last name. I remember her. I was I was Mirna. a teacher. Mirna I was a with, with glass. I was a teacher at Itka, yeah. I was a teacher uh, right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, in in what year? That was from 2016 to 2019. I was studying English that about the year. 2000, 2005, I think. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. All right. That's continue. It. Continue with the personal achievements. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, about uh, history from childhood, uh, I came to say that when I was a kid, no sé cómo se dice era. Yo era. I was. Ah, bueno, I was. Es lo que hemos estado estudiando. I was. Tartamudo, no sé cómo se dice. Eh, speechless. Bueno, I was eso. Speechless. Eso, Just repeat but, it. But in this. But. Oh, hoy en día. Uh -huh. Hoy en día. No right soy. now. Currently, right now. Nowadays. But right now. No lo soy. I'm not speechless anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not speechless anymore. Okay. That's it. All Creo que right. Eso. Exactly. An applause for Elwin. Great okay, job. Teacher. Thanks, teacher. Excellent. Vaya, automáticamente te pasara al siguiente nivel. <laughs> Pero tengo que seguir el proceso. <risas> ¿Saben, ¿Saben que este, yo, yo en el ITCA, yo en el ITCA y era, era un filtro? Porque este, si mis alumnos hablaban y se defendían, los pasaba, si no, no. Entonces todos decían, uy, vamos a ir con el teacher Douglas. <risas> uh, pero sí, es bueno. Y, y me gusta que te sepas defender bastante porque este, um, eso es lo que te va a abrir puertas, que te defendas con el speaking. La gramática es súper importante aprenderla, pero creo que lo más importante de todo el inglés es que hables. Quítate yes. el miedo, equivocarte, 
si te equivocas no te preocupes puedes mejorar yes, uh -huh. lo que puedo este, compartirle brevemente, brevemente este, hay cosas que están en la mente pero que duermen verdad porque fue hace muchos años y se dejó de practicar pero hoy en estas sesiones que hemos tenido, de repente hacen un chispazo y quizás es cuestión de práctica lo que hace Correcto. falta. Ok. Vaya, seleccioname quién tú querrás que hable. Híjole, que me, me van a odiar, teacher. Mejor escoja de usted. Va, voy a escoger entonces. Quiero ver. Quiero que se luzca. Miriam. ¿Ya desconectaste? ¿O estás acá? Aquí estoy, teacher. Ok. Let's listen to Miriam. Um, my full name is Miriam Darlene Escobarcerón. Uh -huh. um, permítame. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál era la otra pregunta, perdón? Place and date of birth. Oh. Uh, place in date of birth. And... Uh -huh. date. My date of birth is August. 15 August. August 15th. Uh, August 15th. I place In La Paz, Santiago Nonalco. I was born in La Paz, Santiago Nonalco, or Santiago Nonalco, La Paz. Okay. One And of personal my, achievements. Uh -huh. My personal achievement is one of my achievements mm -hmm. has been to finish mm -hmm. my technical study. Okay. Thanks for the support of my mom, mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, my first word. Um, how do you say library? Uh, my first word is in the library. Mm -hmm. Um. Was. <coughs> uh huh. And how about a story from childhood? Uh, okay. Uh, I'll say it, teacher. No, continue. You are doing great. Mm, no. Okay. Let's listen to Gabriel. Gabriel. Ok. Uh, my name is Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. Uh -huh. I was born in San Salvador on January 11, uh, 1984. And my personal achievement and I am bachelor and I I was a study teach in electric engineering right now I work at air conditioning I learned how to cut and manufacture duct and I am uh, how the how do you say uh, no boss is uh, in Spanish contratista uh, contractor a contractor Uh, how is contractor of the uh, of air conditioning and i was begin to job uh, at 
in 1997 when I was 14 years uh, at the supermarket and all the time I I was working I was work and paid my studies and I other studies uh technique at uh, AutoCAD and I I was I was job at air uh, at carpenter in in construction and uh, I am and I was work at a full gaso gasolinera how do you say I don't listen gas station gas station oh sorry gas station um i i can sign of, lang of language of div or for div and i served uh, at church at the ministry of div and all as my personal achievement and the history uh, from childhood is that I I always my father uh, teach me work hard and I I achieve the all the I propose in the life only that. Excellent. Me llega tu historia. Me llega tu historia bastante. Thank you. Como que uh, tenemos mucha historia en común. Ok. Algo así me tocó. Y así se valoran las cosas. Tanto materiales, yes. personas, etc. Yes. Tu estudio, uh, bla, bla. My goal is uh, study more and more and more. Ok. Great. Ok. Awesome. José Heriberto. Tell us Hi, about teacher. your full Hi, name, teacher. place, and date of birth, personal achievements, and a story. Fíjense uh, okay. que en mi caso, este, bueno, ya, a mí siempre me ha gustado el estudio. Sin embargo, por razones de la vida, cuando yo terminé la universidad, yo dije hasta aquí. Ya solo con el inglés me quedo y así. Porque, bueno, uh, cuando menos pensás, la vida ha pasado y entonces, si es bonito estudiar, pero a la vez disfrutar. Entonces, yo me, después de que logré mis objetivos, me he dedicado, aparte de mi trabajo, a disfrutar más de la vida, de la gente que me rodea, eh, de mí mismo. Eh, si sí es bonito trabajar, recibir tu sueldo, pero también es bonito darte tus gustos de vez en cuando. Y eso creo que al final es lo que vale, porque todo lo que tenemos alrededor al final acá queda pues. Pero sí, si les gusta estudiar, qué bueno, pero no olviden esa parte. Disfruten de en cuanto puedan, porque uh, al final del día es lo que, eh, lo, la única satisfacción que queda. ¿Ok? Heriberto, pues sí, dígame lo merezco, que las, que, que las experiencias son lo único que nos vamos a llevar en esta vida. Correcto. Aunque después te estés tronando los dedos porque te quedaste sin dinero. <risa> pero te diste el gusto. Después se queda andando apretada la catorcena, <risa> pero usted sobrevive con lo de los pasajes. Cabal, a pura chonguenga. <risa> Así digo yo cuando me, cuando me compro algo caro, pero digo, me lo merezco. <risa> Correcto. Ok, Heriberto. Ok. Um, my full name is uh, José Heriberto Durán. I am 53 years old. Um, I live in San Salvador. Um, I live uh, with my family and, and my three children. My three children, um, uh, my, my personal children is, uh, I study 
I study uh, uh, public accountant, public accountant in university technological. And, and I, I have a Technolog one brother, one brother and four and Technolog four sisters. Technologic University or Technologic University. university. Okay, este, my occupation is a contact. It's a contact in, in my office in, in work in plant trifinio is the, the environment, uh, uh, medio ambiente. Uh -huh. Medio Ambiente en El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras. Okay. Um, my, uh, when I was a child, um, when I was a child, um, I went to a river and, and, I, and, I learned, and I learned to swim. To swim and, and uh, I full, full was a happy or feel that was a happy uh, for I learning uh, swimming. And my, my sad uh, moment is, uh, is uh, my dad has, uh, has uh, already died. died um, I'm so sorry to hear uh, yes, that. Yes, in 1990, 1990. Oh. And my... Uh, 23 years ago years ago uh, 20 yes yes so you were around 30 years old when your dad died or passed away and three 30 30 30, 30 years old okay 33 years old and i my my uh, my hobby is, is a play soccer and swimming and and i read a book and and watch it uh, and watching TV in, in my house. Okay. Uh, 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 also, I have a dog pet. Okay. Only teacher. Great. <laughs> thank you. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> ya llevo cuatro que los pasara así automáticamente. <laughs> okay. Now let's listen to. Jose Alejandro. Vamos a ver qué, qué ha aprendido José Alejandro de este curso. José Alejandro. Ah, uh, well, um, many, many places, um, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, but what I want you to do is to tell me your full name, place, and date of birth, personal achievements, and also a story from your childhood. In this moment, I don't care, so I have a very, very big problem. I'm uh, working in this come moment. On. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay, tell us a little bit about that information. Just like, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, random information that you can tell us related yeah. to the place and date of birth, achievements, and also a story from your childhood. Well, I I born in San Salvador, the six um September, the uh, eighty four. I human rights activist in my country, El Salvador. I working in Agnur. I am lawyer. Okay. Um, I don't know. Um, well, I'm studying English in this now, in this moment. Okay, and. Okay. Tell me a story from your childhood. That can be a, a happy story or a sad story. Um, well, I travel to... ¿Cómo se diría este país? Bueno, uh, una reunión... ¿Cómo se dice English. reunión en inglés? Meeting. <laughs> The meeting in Idgala, Bolivia. Yeah. Um, is very very good people. So, well, uh, uh, the people, uh, the El Salvador fight, and the people, the Bolivia. I don't know why. And um, well, uh, this is very bad. 
uh, the good is I can travel uh, this country. Okay. Well, nothing more. Okay. Te pasara, fíjate. Te pasara automáticamente. Ah, vaya, gracias. Pásenme. <risa> fíjate que te voy a contar algo. No mm. sé si lo has notado. Aunque, aunque dijiste, si sí, no se me olvida, que extrañabas a tu primer teacher. Y no está mal. Porque siempre hay un teacher. <risa> siempre no, hay un era, teacher era que muy uno. Guapo y lo conocí hace. Ah, un par ok. De yo, años, pero... yo pensé que era señorita, pero igual. Lo, no. que, te quiero, lo te, que te quiero decir es que este, al principio, uh -huh. cuando iniciaste el curso, iniciamos el curso hace cuatro uh -huh. semanas atrás, no uh -huh. te expresabas como te estás expresando ahorita. Uh, es que he estado hablando con gente de otros países porque estoy llevando un proceso con el IRC y la que está llevando el proceso es una mujer trans de Australia. Okay. Entonces habla en inglés y lo hacemos por medio de, de un intérprete, pero siempre le entiendo casi todo. Ok, me parece. Bueno, eh, espero que la práctica que, te, que estés teniendo te esté ayudando. De hecho, se ve que te está ayudando y que hayas aprendido un poco de este curso. Oh, Escuchemos a Marcos. Pero si quería hablar, dice. After Marcos. <risa> you are bad, my friend. Ok. Marcos. Okay, let's listen to Barosli. Ya ve, Nelson quería hablar, dijo. Okay. Voy después. Go ahead, okay. Yo voy después de ti. <laughs> vaya, va después. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, okay. Um, um, my my full name. My name mm -hmm. is Berosli Rosales Gomez. I was born in Usulutan, July 22nd, 1979. Um, ay, ¿cómo se dice logros, profe? Ya rato que intento decirlo. Archimed. Archimed. My, um, I remember um, the the Archimed was. I am very happy. Um, uh, I go three three years. I as I was three years studying. ago. A study three years ago I was study um chiropraxia mm -hmm. um, it is um very special for me because um me siento orgullosa como puedo decir I feel proud of myself orgullosa de mí I feel proud of myself um, uh, the other uh, achievement is uh, I am I, I uh, studied for for you English with you in for my classmen with you okay uh, English in <laughs> my classmen um, uh, when I was chill. Um, I have a cat. Uh, his name Miaugi. Miaugi okay. uh, died. It's a very sad for me. Mm, okay, thank you for sharing um, that information. Uh, my story happy is. Um, my happy story in the year my happy story in the in 2000 
size uh, 2000 ago. Um, I know my my husband. Okay. All right. And the okay, cool. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Nelson. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Hi everyone. Hi. My full name is Nelson Vladimir Mulato Pleites. I was born in San Salvador on July 28, 201. One of my grades, I Stevens, I said my is having finished high school in accounting and having worked first place national well a place in the institution at studied. Another personal achievement is current youth as production coder. Creo que así se pronuncia, como editador de, de producción. Mm -hmm. At the age of um, 11, I won a scholarship with FEPADI and during all states on my studies, I always got um excellence excellence qualific qualif qualification o tener excelentes calificaciones no sé cómo excellent grades Cali calificaciones uh -huh. uh, excellent grades at at grad graduating with honors from basic education and high school uh che history Mm, sad on my on my childhood is childhood. Uh, mm, tre, tre of my grandfather. Mm -hmm. He was he was for me my my father. Uh, I was born. I was born with my my grand my grandfather, my grandmother and my grandfather. Okay. Um, entonces, bueno, esta sería como la historia triste. Um, pasé muchos años en. Sería. Ay, como, pasé muchos años por depresión, pero no sé cómo se. No sé, no sé cómo se dice. I was <laughs> under the pressure for many years. I was money. Uh, I was. Under the, the pressure. Under the pressure, pressure for, for mm -hmm. many years, and seen for me, he was my father. But but today, um, I'm fine. He, creo que lo estoy, creo que estoy superando, estoy superando eso. I'm y overcoming that vida. situation. Perdón. I'm overcoming that situation. I'm overcoming. And situation. Um, and my life, it's good today. Okay, excellent. Vaya, chicos, se nos acabó la cora. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Solo les deseo eh, éxito y que sigan practicando bastante. Para mí ha sido un placer estar con ustedes. Eh, son un bonito grupo. Lo único que yo les recomiendo es que se quiten el miedo. Ya vimos que tienen talento, que sí saben expresarse. Solo es que agarren confianza y de aquí para adelante, ¿ok? No den un paso atrás. Así como van, están bien. Sigan avanzando. Y ojalá en el camino pues, pueda volver a, a darles clase o, o, o puedan estudiar otro y curso usted conmigo. Y que nos deja... Que nos dejen todos los cursos con usted, con usted si aprendemos. <risa> Sería bueno, pero la verdad es que siempre nos, nos rotan, ¿ok? Entonces... ¿Por qué eh, lo rotan? Porque... Eh, Because in English? <risa> <risa> no, ya terminamos, el, ya terminamos el curso. Nos rotan porque este, depende las necesidades que hayan. Hay niveles hay grupos que necesitan un nivel más alto de inglés, mm. hay grupos que necesitan un nivel más bajo de inglés, 
Hay Bien. grupos que necesitan escuchar un, una diferente forma de, de pronunciación o de enseñanza, entonces por eso nos mantienen. Porque lo que yo sé no lo sabe otro teacher y lo que otro teacher sabe no lo sé yo en el aspecto pedagógico. Entonces, es bien variante. Hay unos enseñan de una forma, si se han dado cuenta con los que han estado, y otros enseñamos de una forma diferente. Yo soy más práctico en todo. Me gusta más practicar. Sin embargo, tengo que apegarme a, a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Al libro. Pero a mí me gusta más este tipo de actividades que hemos tenido hoy de último. Hablar, 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 hablar y hablar. Ok. Vale, nos quedamos hasta aquí. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. And bye. Que disfruten bye. sus vacaciones. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye. Se cuidan. Bye. 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 Bye.